Welcome back everyone to episode 50 of our Control Ultimate Edition Let's Play series. We are currently in the AWE DLC of the game, and we are in the investigation sector, and a lot of links have been made to Alan Wake, and also some other key players, um, such as Mr. Kirkland, who was the investigations, uh, head of investigations, who quit over a feud with uh, Mr. Trench. We also know that there's some kind of a creature that got loose in this sector that killed a lot of people and they had to it was this region was basically forced to shut down uh so here we are we are about to go across this fire break and see what mysteries lie on the other side we've oh wow there's something i've never seen that before um we've last episode was a lot of reading a lot of lore Kind of laying the groundwork for what's going to happen. Well, we can't go through this. This looks like it's broken. I think we might have to travel over, all the way over there, boys. Um, this is not going to be safe. But we're going to have to figure this shit out. Um, I don't know if I should go left or right. Go this way. Nope, that's not it. We might have to go down even further. I think we're gonna have to go down to this sector where we see yellow. I also see blood going that way. Let's see what we can find. Oh, well, this is open. That is definitely open. That is the way we need to go. I kind of want to also briefly check this. With the, see what the blood is about. If this door will open. No. It looks like it closed on somebody. Who's trying to escape. Creepy, damp, and abandoned. Why did Wake want me to come here? Wow, we have, like, copies of objects floating out of itself. That's creepy. That doesn't look like a house shift. Let's keep going. Oh, shit. Know? It's kind of making me dizzy. Let's check out the shelter. Charge Blast Boost. Filing and Processing. So we recently unlocked a new ability, as you guys may have noticed, where we can put up our shield and then charge into somebody and crush them. So I'll probably be doing that quite a bit, uh, because there's achievement, you have to kill, I think, 100 soldiers with the shield bash, so I'll probably be doing that for a hot minute. The hiss 
are already in here. Whew. Okay. Um, let's quickly look around and make sure we didn't miss any collectibles during all that, all that action. Foot gossip. Hello, my feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. Well, that's creepy. Service tunnel. We haven't been that way yet. Hartman arrest? No, not that. I don't want to do that. What was that correspondence? Hartman arrest. So this is the doctor. Um, offender names, Emil Hartman. Victim names, Alan Wake, Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, Rudolph Lane, Wendy Diesel, Thomas Emerson. Officer names, uh, Special Agent Remy Dennis. Charges, kidnapping of altered individuals, sanctions against altered organizations, obstruction of bureau investigation, breaching the ASH Act. Additional notes. Offenders' property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offenders' personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by Bureau, researchers, all victims have been released. By annual surveillance orders were assigned to each except the Anderson brothers due to their sen senility and wake, possibly deceased. Possibly deceased, or is he living in another realm right now. Can I get through there? Hmm. Looks to be blocked off for now. Keep looking. Okay, should I go to the service tunnel? Or should I go... Let's go to the service tunnel, see if that, see where that takes us. Hmm. Darkness is blocking the door. So, now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Aim a powerful light source at the darkness to destroy it. Oh wow, dude! It's just like Alan Wake. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. It is just like Alan Wake, because in Alan Wake, you have to aim your flashlight at enemies to break their shield and shoot them. Wow. Cool. Okay, so we can go into the service tunnel. Let's uh, check that out. I was not expecting that. Oh, mold through here. Mold. Gonna be mold creatures down here, boys. Shield kills reload effic reload efficiency. That could be good. Just in case there's like a quest to kill the mold, I'm making sure I kill all the mold here while I'm at, while I have it.
Okay. So I think we'll probably be coming here back here later for some kind of a side quest, but I think if I kill the mold now... Oh shit. Is it respawning? Are we good? Hopefully we're good. Right, get the hell out of here. Well, definitely an area we'll be coming back to. Any darkness to cleanse in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we have Operation Center, Active Investigations, Fire Break, and Filing Processing. This is where we came from. Alright, let's keep going. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. A monster? Uh oh. I think we're going to be doing a boss fight soon, boys. Let's uh, get more information on the third thing. The resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Artman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both change what remained of Artman. They all turned into something else. The third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Well, that means we can kill it. And I bet you we're going to have to use light. Oh, I'm scared. It's so damn dark in here. We need lights. Interrogation complaint? Kirkland, so you put me on the desk on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do, my job. I don't know what I call that. Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. 
If you think pulling me out of the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that, inter that, in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. They won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Black market. Illegal altered item market. A black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided in blank, Czech Republic, by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulting in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources known as unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. A, there is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of general public. B, these criminals... These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's supernatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. C. The motivations of these collections are largely unknown. Okay, there is a lot of stuff for me to look at right now. Darkness everywhere. save all bloody seas. They are full of mold shit. It's no good for you. Okay, so actually, yeah, I've already eradicated the mold. Lighten them up. Ah, more plants. Okay, so some more side quests that we'll do later. Right. Let's go make some new friends. NASA cooperation decision in response to NASA. Following the NASA FBC coordination agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements, such based on a research, including, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space mission is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweighs any spending in relation to the processing and delivery of BlackRock. From its medium Earth orbit, the blank will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remote monitoring and photog photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of the committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Oh, wow. That's big. Where'd my cube go? Okay. Eagle Limited Summary. A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Blank. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a 
persistent auditory event. It reminds, remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time, and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was intimate in Bloomington. As a result, our response team on site was able to respond to the train incident accident site within numer within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector. So we might bump into that later. The Shadow. The Shadow. Parent natural entity A010, aka the Shadow, is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. Type A. Localized manifestations of satient blank capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting blank over its surroundings. Type B. Shaded individuals. Human bodies blank by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do, do seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects, similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are blank, solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, which may imply a shared link to a blank intelligence. The threat this entity possesses warrants immediate exploration of offensive defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered to prepare for the eventuality of a blank. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Waif, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. All right, so more information about the shadow and also Dr. Hartman. It appears he's trying to get... Day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. Mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how exactly. I, uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I could hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think, wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this, gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck, cooperate. Okay, here we go. All right, now 
was faint, but I definitely heard movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. <laughs> the recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'll... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... It done. All right, let's get that electric cube. Oh, shit. I can throw this dude. Come here, you. All right, let's keep going. I forgot that I can throw low health targets now. Uh, I don't feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. Hmm. Okay. When you get it turned on. I'm wondering if we can use that cube or not. No, we can't. We can't grab it off. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Maybe we need to use the elevator and then get cubes and come back here. Shit. Now what? Oh shit. What is that? I need to be able to get those cubes. Oh shit. Oh shit. So you don't like the light. Oh shit. Get out of here. Oh fuck. Uh, I can't... Oh, fuck. I can't use my energy in the dark. Oh, shit. Try to lure him over here if we can. So he's gonna stay in the dark, because he didn't like the light. 
Okay. We stay in the light. We should be good in theory. Okay, I need more power cores. There, maybe? Aha, there's one. Boom. Okay, we'll get those later. Switches. Ah, I see one. Okay, we got to come back here. Oh, fuck. I did not know he had range attacks. Come on, get over here. boys well we've gone over our time for this episode we are going to go ahead and cut it there when we pick up with episode 51 we will continue investigating through this sector and see what kind of mysteries we can unlock so anyway guys my name is free nachos thanks as always for stopping by i'll see you in the next episode bye bye